Hello, and welcome to this video for Physics 131 on the differences between the meaning of the word and and the meaning of the word or when considering the idea of probability. We will be using the idea of the word and quite a lot in our study of entropy. Here in this bowl, I have four different markers. A green one, an orange one, a red one, and a blue one. Now, what is the probability of me reaching in and picking out a marker of a particular color? Say, the blue one. Well, we know that there are four markers in the bowl, so the probability of me pulling out the blue is one out of four. And I will indicate this as a P sub B. Similarly, the probability of me pulling out the green, P sub G, is 1 out of 4. The probability of me pulling out the red, also 1 out of 4. And finally, the probability of pulling out the orange marker, P sub O, is 1 out of 4. Now we want to go on to more interesting questions. For example, what is the probability of me pulling out either the blue or the green marker? So the question we're looking to answer is, what is the probability of blue or green? That's the question we are looking to answer first. All the possible options are, of course, blue, green, red, or orange. How many of those meet my criteria of blue or green? Well, of the four options, two of them are blue or green. Now, if you look at this from a mathematical perspective, you will see that this is the probability of blue plus the probability of green. One-fourth plus one-fourth gives me two-fourths. And this is a common fact. When you see the word or when dealing with matters of probability, you should think to add. Now let's move on to a different question. What's the probability of me reaching in, pulling out the blue, putting it back, and then reaching in, pulling out the green, and putting it back. This is the question we're looking to answer. So to write it down, we want to know what is the probability of blue, and then green. What's the probability of blue and then pulling out a green? Well, let's list all of the different options that can result of me pulling out two markers. Well, I could pull a blue and then a green, of course. I could pull a blue and then another blue because I put it back. I could pull a blue and then a red. Or finally, a blue and the orange marker. Those are four possible options. I could, however, have drawn a green marker first, followed by the blue, or a green followed by a green, a green followed by a red, or a green followed by the orange. I could draw a red marker first, followed by a blue, or a red followed by a green, a red followed by another red, or a red followed by an orange. Or finally, I could draw an orange followed by a blue, an orange followed by the green, the orange followed by the red, or I could draw the orange marker twice. How many of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 combinations are blue and then green. 
Well, of all of these 16 combinations, only one is blue and then green. So the probability seems to be 1 out of 16. Which, again, if we look at it mathematically, seems to be the probability of blue multiplied by the probability of green. 1 out of 4 times 1 out of 4 gives me 1 out of 16. And this is going to be, again, very common. When you hear the word and, you should think to multiply. Let's think of one more example to really test if our ideas of or equals add and and equals multiply really pan out. Something a little more complex. So let's think about what is the probability of blue and then green or green and then blue. I.e., what is the probability that we don't really care what order we draw them out, we just want to know, can I get, what are the odds of me getting a blue and a green? And I don't really care if I do the blue first or the green first. Well, let's test out our meaning of our words. So the probability of blue is, of course, one-fourth. I replace the word and with a multiplication. Then green or becomes an add. Green is, again, of course, one-fourth. And becomes a multiply. Blue becomes a one-fourth. Order of operations tells me to multiply first and then add. One-fourth and one-fourth is one-sixteenth plus one-fourth times one-fourth is one-sixteenth, giving me a total answer of two out of sixteen. So that's what our ideas of or being add and and being multiply give us. How many actually are there? Well, one, two out of the 16 possible combinations are in fact either blue and green or green and blue. So it turns out that our thinking of or as add and and as multiply has worked out for us. And this is very, very, very commonly true. There are probably some examples somewhere that this doesn't pan out, but overwhelming amount of the time, you can make this substitution of or for add and and for multiply and do okay. This concludes this video.